Now let's take a couple of minutes and talk about two very basic wave forms. And the two wave forms we're going to talk about here are transverse waves and longitudinal waves. The difference between the two. Well, you have to understand that any type of wave is caused by some form of an object vibrating back and forth. Some regular, repeating, vibrating motion. For instance, if you're holding a rope between two people, one at point X and one at point Y, and the person at point X shakes the rope up and down like this, then that shaking motion, that regular repeating shaking motion over here is the vibration. And that regular shaking motion is going to transfer energy to the rope and the energy is going to move along that rope to the person over here at point Y. So that represents the direction that the energy is traveling. If you notice here that the direction of vibration transverses or crosses the direction that the energy is traveling. Another way to say that is that the vibration transverses, that means cuts across, the direction of propagation. The direction of propagation is the direction that the wave is carrying the energy. So if the vibration transverses the direction that the energy is traveling, then we have a transverse wave. On the other hand, let's take a look at this longitudinal wave down here. It gets its name from the fact that the vibration of each particle in each one of these areas of compression down here, each one of these is an area of compressed air That's an area of compression. And each particle in that area of compression is vibrating back and forth. Where did it get that vibration? Well, origin the vibration originated down here with the surface of that speaker. The speaker's surface is vibrating back and forth. And if you've ever touched a speaker while it was producing a sound, you know it vibrates. And that speaker vibrates back and forth, and it imparts that vibration to the molecules that are in the air adjacent to the speaker. And then those molecules transfer that vibration, that energy, to molecules that are adjacent to them and so on. So if I were to pull out of this compression one single air molecule, then that air molecule might look like that. And that air molecule, that single air molecule, would be vibrating from side to side, back and forth, hitting the molecules next to it. And as it vibrates back and forth, it's vibrating along the same line that the energy is traveling. There's the energy. So the vibration right here of each particle is the same as the vibration of the surface of the speaker. And the energy is traveling outward away from the speaker. So you can see that these two are actually along the same line. The vibration is along the same line as the propagation or the direction that the energy is traveling. And that's how you can tell the difference between a transverse wave and a longitudinal wave. In a transverse wave, the vibration transverses or cuts across at a 90 degree angle the direction of energy propagation. And in a longitudinal or compression wave, in a longitudinal wave, the vibration is along the same path as the energy. In other words, the vibration is along the same path as the direction of propagation. That's how you can tell the difference between transverse waves and longitudinal waves.